We're pleased to be joined to cap off today's show with just about 20 minutes left in the program by Kathy Russ. She is the director of the West Bloomfield Township Public Library with us today. Kathy, thanks for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure, Tyler. Nice to be back. Yeah, nice to have you back. Tell us what's going on at the West Bloomfield Library. It's been a while since we've talked to you, and I'm sure some things have changed given the COVID-19 situation, and now we're changing seasons heading toward the fall. Yes. Um, well, so this is a, uh, you know, fall is always a busy time at the library. Um, in any, in any, you know, year. Um, the pandemic has changed things, obviously, but um, I think the biggest news that I'd like to share is that the library has restored its pre-pandemic hours. So Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then Friday and Saturday, 9 till 6 p.m., and then Sundays, 12 to 6 p.m. So, um, you know, previously um, we were closing a little bit earlier in the summertime at 7 o'clock, and um, so we're back with, with all of those hours. Um, another thing that I think is really important to make sure that the community knows, especially the students in the community, uh, the study rooms are open and we have restored all of the seating to the library. Um, we have um, placed the furniture, replaced the furniture so there, there's more um, distance between chairs and the comfortable chairs. Um, not exactly social distancing, but so that there's a reasonable amount of distance. But um, people are welcome to come back and study. There are no time limits um, to be in the building. And, um, you know, West Bloomfield Township residents and residents of our contract communities, which are Orchard Lake, Sylvan Lake, and Kego Harbor, are welcome to reserve the study rooms and make use of them. So we're really excited about that. We're joined by Kathy Russ. She is the director of the West Bloomfield Township Public Library with us on the Megacast. Of course, it is September, and September is Library Card Sign-Up Month. So, Kathy, well, let me just start with the simplest question. Why should people get a library card? Well, I'm going to answer that with another question. Why wouldn't people get a library card? Um, lots of reasons to get a library card. Um, the first is it gains you access to an absolute wealth of library materials. The library is not just about books. I can't say this enough, um, but even if you want it to just be about books, you have your choice of audio books, e-books, print books, large print books, graphic novels, um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. But there are um, learning databases for people who are students um, to help you with your homework, if you're looking for a job, all kinds of career resources. If you just wanna kick back and enjoy life a little bit, we've got streaming services for music and for video. And even you know for video, I wanna make sure that the audience knows that it's not, um, you know, D-list, C-list movies. We're talking A-list movies, TV series, documentaries, cooking shows, you know, all the cool stuff. Um, and, you know, magazines, newspapers, digital magazines, digital newspapers. Plus, I think the best part is you also have access to librarians and library staff who can help you with whatever you might need help with, finding that resource that you need or figuring out how to download eBooks onto your Kindle or your reading device so you know you have all the materials and you have the people that go with it um, you have the library building which is beautiful you have the study rooms you have the comfortable seating you have programs book groups um, you know all kinds of things to do to enrich your life and it's paid for by your tax dollars so you have already paid for the service so we really want you to use it because You've paid for it, and that's why we're here. We like to serve the public. We love our community, and we want to help you. So that's why you should get a library card if you haven't already. We're joined by Kathy Russ. She is the director of the West Bloomfield Township Public Library with us on the MegaCast. And uh, Kathy, if, if people are convinced after that very convincing argument, how can they go about getting a library card in West Bloomfield Township? What's required and what processes do they have to go, for, go through to obtain one? Okay, so great question. Well, to make it easy, we have put an online application on the library's website, which is wblib.org. 
And so you can um, fill that out at your convenience, you know, from home, from your phone, from wherever you happen to be, put that information in, and then, you know, we can get the application process started. So when you do come in, you're halfway there. Um, so if people want to do it that way, they're more than welcome to. If you want to just walk into the library during open hours, you can do that too. Um, we do require a, a form of you know, state ID, picture ID with your current address on it. So if you're a West Bloomfield Township resident or a member of our contract communities and your driver's license or ID card reflects that, that's all you need. You won't have any trouble. If you've just moved here, and maybe your driver's license hasn't changed, what you'll want to do is make sure to bring in two pieces of, of official mail that show your current address. And what I mean by official mail is like your DTE bill, your mortgage agreement, your lease agreement, um, consumer's energy bill, a utility bill, and then something that shows you know your property or where you live. Um, so you bring that in just to demonstrate proof of residency and we'll get you the card and you will be good to go. We're joined by Kathy Russ. She is the director of the West Bloomfield Township Public Library. Learn more about uh, how you can get a library card, go through the processes that you need to in order to get yours, uh, and find more programs and more information about what's going on in the library system here in West Bloomfield Township by going to wblib.org. And, and Kathy, uh, on top of all the services that are provided uh, for books and for uh, and digital services, uh, library cards, all of that, there's also a lot of great programs uh, that are held by the library and by partners at the library all throughout the year. What are some interesting ones that are coming up here in the next couple of months that may be uh, interesting or attractive to people in West Bloomfield that might want to uh, come and join and learn something? So I want to mention, just to make sure that the audience knows that all of the library's programs right now are virtual. So they are um, occurring by Zoom and you can go to the library's event calendar on the library's website to sign up and we will send you the Zoom link. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're still, you know, with the surge of the Delta variant, very hesitant to bring large groups of people together. Um, and our programs always attract a, a large crowd. And at this point, we just don't want to um, encourage that or become a hot spot. If the library became a hot spot or, you know, uh, uh, people came down with the virus, we might have to close and we don't want to do that. We've had a great track record of being open since June of 2020. And so that's why we've made the decision to keep programming virtual, even for kids, at least through the end of this year. People. So the first thing to know is the programs are virtual. You can enjoy them in the comfort of your home or from wherever you are. Um, but to talk about specifically some of the programs, um, we have some really great stuff coming up for the rest of September. We've got um, a virtual cord cutting workshop that's tomorrow night and that's at 630. And what that program talks about is if you still have cable and you're thinking, you know, what is this streaming that I'm hearing so much about? What's Disney Plus? How do I get that? What's Hulu? What's Netflix? Uh, we can tell you how that process works and give you tips and tricks on how to um, how to set that up for your own home. It's always very popular. We get at least 50 people every time that program runs. It's one of our most in-demand programs. So that's tomorrow night at 6.30. Um, we also have a virtual pajama family story time on Thursday at 6.30. And so if you're home and you've got the kids or the grandkids and you wanna put your jammies on, especially I think it's supposed to be really cold, um, and you can just fire up the Zoom and listen to some great stories and um, kind of settle yourself down as you prepare to go to bed. And then um, another one that I'm really excited about um, on Thursday is we have, um, there's a, a man named Edward Ballion and he has written the first biography of Bob Seeger. It's called Turn the Page. And you know, Bob Seeger of course is so associated with Detroit. So um, Mr. Ballion is going to be presenting a program about Bob Seeger and um, his 50 year career in music, which I think is, um, is just gonna be a lot of fun. So if you like music, you like Bob Seeger, um, tune in for that. It's um, Thursday and it starts at seven o'clock. And then last but not least, what I wanted to bring up is, um, on, excuse me, I'm sorry, that uh, Bob Seeger program is Thursday, September 30th. 
on Wednesday the 29th, we have a program called Rosie the Riveter, and that talks about the role of women during World War II and how women really um, stepped up, stepped in, kept things going, and the changes that happened after World War II, um, you know, whenever when um, the men who were fighting came home. So um, that program has been presented in a couple different libraries, always gets rave reviews, and I think it's gonna be really fantastic. So that is Wednesday, September 29th, and that's at seven o'clock. We're joined by Kathy Russ. She is the director of the West Bloomfield Township Public Library with us on the Megacast. They're uh, back to their regular hours, Monday through Thursday, 9 o'clock a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. Friday and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, and then Sunday at their main branch, noon to 6, noon to 5 at the West Acres branch on Commerce Road in West Bloomfield Township. The main branch in the West Bloomfield Civic Center Plaza located right next door to us here uh, at Civic Center TV at the at 4600 uh, sorry, 40, yeah, 4600 Walnut Lake Road. That is the Civic Center Plaza with all the township uh, build, most of the township operational buildings there. Town halls uh, over there, the Parks and Recreation Building, the Recreation Activity Center uh, over there as well. Uh, right next door in between both of those is the West Bloomfield Township Public Library and also uh, the Civic Center Complex houses the police department. Learn more inf information, of course, about the library at their website, wblib.org, where you can also learn about uh, other programs, uh, get access to many of their resources, and learn about organizations such as the Friends of the West Bloomfield Library as well, and their Friend Shop, where you can uh, purchase books and other materials uh, from right inside the West Bloomfield Township Public Library. We're joined by Kathy Russ. She is the director of the library with us on the show today. Lots of great ser uh, services over there and great programs coming up. Anything else that would be interesting for the audience to know today about what is ongoing over at the West Bloomfield Library or uh, exciting things that may be coming up in the future, Kathy? Sure. Well, you know, I could talk about the library for like three hours. So I, but I'll try to, I'll try to rein myself in. Um, one thing that I do want to mention, Tyler, since you mentioned the friends of the library, um, the WB Parks is having their community garage sale um, on Saturday, September 25th. The Friends of the Library will have um, several tables there and they will be selling materials um, or, or products from the Friends Shop. The Friends Shop isn't currently open. Um, one exciting project on the horizon is we're looking into possibly expanding that shop so they can sell um, books out of there. Right now the Friends do book sales um, periodically, but because of COVID and again, not necessarily wanting to bring people together in large groups, um, you know, we're not able to do the book sales, but but um, we're looking into, into you know, how we can help with that. But in the meantime, um, the Friends, uh, materials from the Friends shop will be on sale. Um, really, really cool stuff um, on Saturday, September 25th at the community garage sale. And, you know, we have such wonderful friends and the, the people who volunteer to be part of that group, they are just such a positive, dynamic, fun group of people. So if you're headed to the community garage sale, please stop by and say hello. And maybe you can learn more about becoming a friend of the library. We can always use more friends and um, stop by and see them. And I think it's going to be a fun event in general. So, you know, support the parks, support the, the people who are um, having the tables at the garage sale and definitely go see the friends. Yeah, learn more about the community garage sale that's happening on September 25th by going to wbparks.org and learn more about the Friend Shop and all the other programs and services through the West Bloomfield Township Public Library by going to wblib.org as well. We're joined by Kathy Russ, the director of the West Bloomfield Township Library, and when you go to the library, it's it's like it's your birthday every single day, which happens to be today for you, Kathy Russ. Happy yes. birthday. How are you <laughs> celebrating? You. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm here. I'm with you. That's a great birthday present. Of course. Um, it's a rainy Tuesday. So you know what? I thought I'll go to work and um, I'm very fortunate. I have great friends and, and people who send me flowers and uh, cards and the staff's been really terrific um, as they always are. And, um, you know, probably go out to dinner later and just uh, be really glad that I survived another trip around the sun. Absolutely. We appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us today on your birthday, Kathy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tyler. Take care.